All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back. We got a short video here. Uh, Les Claypool on his Metallica audition. Hey, I, I want to check this out because, like, I'm just thinking, like, if you have Les Claypool with that bass playing in Metallica, I don't know, <laughs> you know, because I don't look at Metallica like, I'm trying to think of, is there any song that they play that I'll consider funky, you know? Because brother be with that bass beat. We're going to check this out, though. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly. Like I said, just a short video. Again, appreciate you guys coming over. So, we ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. So, I had some questions that, uh, from people who are uh, my, all my friends. He asked Les about auditioning for Metallica. What was that like? It was loud. He said it was a loud experience. Uh, well, Kirk's an old high school buddy of mine, and um, when Cliff died, I was one of the guys who got the phone call. Um, I wasn't a big metal guy, um, but I got he, he had given me Ride the Lightning um, you know, a year or two before that, and I would listen to that in the morning before I'd go to go to work as I'm taking a shower. It just kind of woke me up. Yeah. Mm. But um, and, I didn't know much about the scene. I went and, you know, I didn't even realize how big they were, to tell you the truth. I was like, oh, I'll go audition, you know, maybe I can quit my carpentry job if I get this game, you know? So um, I went and auditioned, and it was a little, you know, it was, I, I realized how big they were when I went to the place, and they go, okay, so, uh, the, you know, thanks for coming. I, you know, I'm going to take you in to see the guys, and don't be nervous. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I realized, well, these guys, they must be kind of big. We tried out quite a few people. Uh, Les Claypool from Primus was actually one of them. Lars was like, you're not used to playing this kind of music, are you? And I was like, no, hey, you know, you guys want to jam on some Isley Brothers tunes? You know, and, and nobody, nobody laughed at my joke. He was too good. He was like, okay, you got your own thing, you know. I wasn't the right guy. Yo. I looked like a total freak, you know. They, I remember it because uh, James said on VH1, well, you know, Les was too good. And that's total bullshit. <laughs> Being nice. You thought I was a weirdo. They never called me. I weeped. Weeped, weeped like, a, like, a, like a little girl. Hey. Imagine that. Being told you're too good. I know what he means by that. It's like, uh... <laughs> he basically is saying, you, you, you got a big personality. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to imagine... Primus or a Les Claypool in Metallica. Or what about Metallica in Primus? Oh, it's just hard to imagine. Because like I say, you know, it's been so... I just, you get that funk. That would have been something. Actually, have they done any... So I'm trying to think. Before I say it, have I seen something? I probably don't remember, but... Have they done something together? I'm not saying we're like, oh, Les Claypool. It was like, I'm talking about actually live where you can see. Not where you'd be like, oh, that's Les Claypool uh, playing the bass. I'm talking about live, live. Dang. How would you guys, please comment below. How would you guys feel about that? Or would you rather they did like just an album together and that's it? You know what I mean? But please comment below. That was pretty, it was a short video, but still pretty cool to hear him say that. But hey, again, thank you guys so much for watching, man. Peace out.